guys, this is Trina Mary. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Um, and from my couch to yours, thank you so much for staying home and helping to flatten the curve. Um, because I'm not running around the world uh, camouflaging people into different iconic locations like I normally would be doing in the spring, um, I thought I would pick back up my Ask the Artist series. So I asked some fans on Instagram, um, to ask me any question that they had about body paint. And so if you have any questions for me, please leave one in the comment below and I will answer it next week. So without further ado, let's answer some of these questions. So one of our questions is, how do you deal with freckles and stretch marks that make the skin uneven? This is an interesting question. So if you guys know anything about my work, um, of course you know that I'm very um, body positive or at least try to be. And so I embrace um, all different kinds of bodies, including stretch marks, including freckles. I think they're beautiful and they make you uniquely you. They tell your story of your body. Um, and uh, freckles are a discoloration of the skin caused by the sun and your unique genetic makeup. And so usually I can just paint over those and there's really nothing else to say besides that. Um, when it comes to uh, stretch marks, I just embrace them. I think they're beautiful. I think that the what makes my unique medium so amazing is the fact that I am painting on the skin. You can see the hairs, you can see the pores of the body. Even if there's a little bit of an optical illusion effect, um, I love that your body shines through as the canvas as opposed to just painting on regular canvas, which I also do. Um, so I think that um, it's, uh, it's totally cool that you have stretch marks. And um, if it's really an issue, we can always hide them with pattern. Um, hide them with pattern, right? I love making people go searching. Next question is, are some body types easier to paint? Um, again, I think all bodies are beautiful. I think that um, for my clients, I work with a huge variety of body types. Um, you guys see some of the work, but you don't see all of the work because, you know, some people like to keep their privacy. But I work with a huge variety of body types, skin color, undertone color. Um, I just love it. I think it's so beautiful and it makes it so interesting to me to play with variety. And um, I think more importantly is the way that you hold yourself uh, confidently and the way that you pose yourself. That really speaks more um, to the concept of the art piece as a, as a human canvas than maybe your specific body type. Um, and in my own personal fine art work, um, body painters will often say that like women with smaller breasts or people who have like more of an athletic body type um, are more appealing and that's just because you have to stand for so long. Um, so there's this mental practice and focus uh, that's sort of meditative. That's that's sort of an important characteristic to have. And then secondarily, the physical ability to stand still and really help your body painter um, to complete their painting. So that is um, my response to that question. I love all different kinds of body types. And for most body painters, I think more of an ability mentally and physically to be able to do the job of being a body paint model and stand for six, eight, 10 hours sometimes. Um, for most of my work, I'm done in one to three hours, so it's not as important. Okay, next question. Um, these are some practical painting questions. So what type of body paint are you using? Is it oil or water-based? Okay, so some of you probably are familiar with, say, stage makeup, which comes water or oil based. There's actually more types of body paint, and I will put the link below um, so you can see uh, uh, my really popular blog called How to Choose Your Body Paint, and um, it talks about all kinds of body paints, latex, silicone, cream-based paints, water-based paints, alcohol-based paints. Um, things that you shouldn't normally paint the body with. Uh, and it just really goes into a lot of detail about both the um, types of paint uh, that you can use and some of my suggested brands. 
not being endorsed by any of those uh, brands in particular. They're my honest opinions of what I like to use. So it's a very subjective list. Um, <clears throat> it says, uh, you know, is it oil or water-based? So I would say that 95% of the paint that I use is water-based and about the other 5% is silicone or alcohol-based paint, body paint. Um, so when you really need something to last, um, I use water, I mean, alcohol or silicone-based body paint, but most of the time I'm using water-based body paint because my paintings are so fast. Um, and silicone and alcohol body paint can be kind of a pain to remove. So um, only when everybody's all in an agreement that we're going to use that paint for that project do I move forward and everybody knows what's kind of involved. Um, is body paint different from acrylic paint? Very. <laughs> in every way, body paint has more like the consistency of maybe say a gouache or a watercolor and uh, makeup, uh, it's very different from the textures that you can build with acrylic paint. And also acrylic paint is not um, allowed by the FDA to be put on the skin, like some artists are using it. And uh, you know, if you have consenting adults, sure, why not? There's all kinds of things that consenting adults um agree to but uh you know for me the fda doesn't approve it so it's pretty rare that i'm using acrylic paint on the skin again look below uh that question is answered in more detail in that blog uh what kind of paint do you use i am mostly using chameleon body paint which is a paint that's from the netherlands and i've been trying to buy up a chunk of it because who knows if uh, we're gonna stop production and really wanna support the body paint companies right now. Um, I'm thinking about buying body paint for a year or two years uh, because I wanna make sure that these guys are able to stay in business. So um, anyways, for me, um, <clears throat> thank you for supporting your, your body paint company, whoever it is that you like to use. Please consider buying more body paint than you normally would this month uh, just to help keep the industry going and making sure that they don't shut their doors. Um, and also making the shipments from Germany and New Zealand and you know the Netherlands worth it. Um, so again, I have a list of recommended brands for other kinds of body paints on that blog. Go ahead and check it out. How long does it take to master such skills and how did you get started? Well, I definitely have some techniques down and I'm pretty quick at it, but I don't know if I've ever, if I ever feel comfortable saying that I've mastered anything. Um, I feel like I'm always learning something new. Almost every painting, I feel like I'm still learning. So it doesn't feel like a process that has ended for me and now I can move on. Um, I'm, I'm always learning. Uh, I almost daily take some kind of a class or I'm trying a new technique or I'm experimenting with something. So um, I think it's important to always continue to be learning. So I used to body paint once a day um, and I would just do tons of paintings and that's how I got so good and so fast. Now I average maybe three to four body paintings a week. Um, some of those body painting sessions might have six or 10 or 20 models. So I'm sure it averages out over the year to you know, one person a day or more still, but um, it's important for me to still take breaks uh, and not always body paint every day, both for my body and also because I like to, you know, design and concept and prepare uh, for the different body paintings that I'm going to do. Hope that answers your question. Um, the next question is, do you need to retouch them a couple of times during the day or the paint stays in place? So it totally depends. Um, for 80% of my work, I'm super fast. It takes me one to three hours. So no, I don't need to, uh, I don't need to re retouch them. It's already done and we're, we've taken the picture and it's over with. Um, and then for the other 20%, like say outdoor paintings done in summer or um, paintings with like lots of bodies or lots of movement and poses and yeah I have to retouch them but again that's only like maybe 20% of my work 
Um, and then some questions of people that are just curious. What inspired you to start body painting? So I got struck by lightning while I was working in Hollywood, actually. And I went to Yosemite and lived in the woods and my friend's band, the Dresden Dolls, uh, were in town and their opening act, the Red Paintings has have body painting as a part of their sort of opening act. And Amanda Palmer talked me into standing on stage and getting body painted. And that's how I first found out about body paint. And I took a class, uh, history of contemporary art class in a university and I was pressured by the teacher to think about my work. Um, do I want to just make popular art or do I want to make um, great art? And I saw in the Bay Area at least um, an opportunity to sort of pioneer something fresh and new and interesting and provoke questions as a woman about the body. Um, and, uh, so I decided to switch and go to body paint and I was doing a lot of really weird experimental performance art that my friends were so generous to, uh, let me do in their galleries and come out and support it. And, uh, from there, that's kind of how I, my career ended up taking off. So I started with sort of a mixture of doing regular canvas paintings with body painting. And then I decided I would bravely make the switch and just fully body paint. And did the models ever ask if the paint could last a little longer somehow? <laughs> Especially my clients do. Um, yes, this, this has happened. So some people are obsessed and super passionate about body paint. And they are so excited when they finally get painted and they don't want to take it off and they want to run around and have a whole day or a whole night in their body paint. And some of them have even slept in their body paint. I've been on the airplanes with people in body paint. Um, and I don't even see it, by the way. I just see my friends um, and people are always like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, what is going on? I don't see anything that's weird here. <laughs> just my friend that I painted. It's super normal. <laughs> so um, anyways, I, uh, yeah, for sure. Some of them want to keep the body paint on longer. And other ones, they're like, crap, I got to go to this other shoot. I got to take the body paint off right now. And bless their heart, they they uh, get the shower done and keep on working. So um, don't ever think that models don't work super hard. They work really, really, really hard. And my heart goes out to them right now. Um, and I miss them. <laughs> the next question is, do you paint every model by yourself or do you have other painters and artists help? So well, most of the time I'm painting by myself, but yeah, certainly if there are a lot of people to be painted or I'm exhausted because I'm doing multiple paintings in a day, or if there's a super short deadline that a client is giving me, like paint six people in an hour and a half, then yes, of course, I have to pull in some assistants um, that I've trained and are super awesome. And, um, so yeah, that's pretty much the answer. Most of the time I'm painting by myself, but occasionally um, I, I pull in some assistance and I have a fantastic team. Our last question for the day is, how long does it take to paint someone into the background? Oh, this is an easy one. So um, to do, to camouflage somebody into a background usually takes me say one to three hours. Um, I'm really fast. If I'm painting out in nature, sometimes that's more like 30 minutes to an hour. So it just really depends on how detailed or complicated the background is, but I'm pretty quick at it. Um, so I hope you've really enjoyed this Ask the Artist from the couch. Uh, we're all kind of doing our best. I, I will be painting somebody soon and we're going to also be sharing content with you that we've either had and just have never shared or um, are editing content that we've had on hard drives or you know, SD cards or whatever that we, we just are pulling from the archives. So um, we're going to keep entertaining you Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Again, if you have a question that you would like me to answer, please leave a comment below and I would love to include it in our next week's Ask the Artist. I hope you guys are all doing well and stay safe. Mm -hmm.